Hello and welcome to today's tutorial in which I'll be taking you through the navigation of the Kenya EMR system. My name is Moses Kerr and it's my pleasure to take you through this. First thing first is that um, before you are able to access the Kenya EMR system, you must be an authenticated user. What this means is that you must be provided with the login credentials by the system admin, just like is the case with me here. I'll log into my system using the login credentials that have been provided to me, and the system quickly directs me to the landing page, which in this case is the facility dashboard. From the facility dashboard, you are one, the user is able to quickly just get a glance of the statistics from for, for the facility disaggregated in the different areas of service provision as indicated. Like for my case, I have some statistics on care and treatment, HTS, which is HIV testing services, appointments, and differential care. Other than this, from the facility dashboard, I'm still able to pick some information on the viral load tracker, which is very important in matters HIV care. While still at the facility dashboard, the user is still able to access their profile through the My Profile menu. What this, what this does is that it, it allows the users to be able to change their password or secret question if there is need. This enables them to be fully in charge of their user accounts by ensuring that uh, their passwords are strong and are changed at regular times. From this page also, the users also have access to the help feature of the EMR. This is a very important feature, again, that uh, enables especially new users to get the necessary material that will help them navigate the system. Other than the materials, the availability of the materials, there is also the toll-free number that all users can call in case they are having issues navigating the system or even deploying the EMR. Allow me to take us through the home page of the Kenya EMR because this is where bulk of the features are found. So the home page presents itself in a way of tiles. The number of tiles that are visible to any users are dependent on the roles that they have been assigned by the system admin. But for my case, you'll be able to see basically all the tiles that are available. The first tile that is available to me is the registration tile. And this one enables the users to add uh, new patients into the EMR or find existing clients in the EMR so that they can be offered with services. The triage tile is a quick link to the triage feature of the EMR and this one enables the healthcare providers to quickly document the anthropometric measurements of the client for that particular visit. HIV testing services, it's a link to the HTS module of Kenya EMR and this one enables facilities that are offering HIV testing and counseling services to be able to document and it comes with the entire cascade of the HTS module which includes uh, referrals and linkage. The clinician is what I'll call the healthcare provider workspace and this one offers the healthcare provider with suit of forms that they need and all the modules that they might need to offer services to their clients or patients. Drug prescription is another tile that is available in the, from the homepage and this one allows the healthcare providers to document the regimen and drugs orders that they have met for clients. Uh, next is the PrEP which is a module that was customized in, uh, in the EMR. And this is for pre-exposure prophylaxis, so this is a direct link for that module. And then we have the lab requests, which allows uh, healthcare workers to create new orders and also document the results for the orders that they had ordered previously. Next is the lab manifest, which is a very new feature and uh, actually allows for the sending of uh, viral load and early infant diagnosis orders, that is, these are PCRs that are conducted for HIV-exposed infants, from the facility to the National Reference Lab and back and the results back from the national lab to the facility as long as they, they, there is internet connectivity in the facility. Next is patient tracing which enables facilities to be able to trace and document the outcomes for clients who are deemed as either lost to follow-up or missed appointments. The chart is what I'll refer to as patient level porting functionality which enables the, enables the user to zero down to a particular patient and get a summary of their treatment and summaries that regards to the services that have been offered to them in this particular facility. Reports is a, a very wide topic, that, uh, but this one enables the facility to generate their monthly or even quarterly reports, and uh, I'll be developing a more detailed tutorial on this. AIR, or the Automated Indicator Reporting, is what enables our facilities to upload automatically some indicators to uh, the National Data Warehouse which are used in monitoring the progress of the facilities. The ETL admin is what 
It's a feature that allows the users to extract, transform, and load data into the data warehouse, or even to, for the facilities to be able to generate their own custom reports that they might need for their own local consumption. Data quality is what I'll call as, what I'll refer to as uh, the quality control aspect of the EMR, and this one enables uh, users to be able to identify any gaps within their databases and uh, and offer remedial measures to just make sure that uh, the integrity of the database is not questionable. Directory is um, what uh, the system admin uses to manage all the users in that, that have, have been assigned roles in this particular facility. Facility uh, is what is used by the users of the EMR to be able to key in the MFL code and uh, able to populate the name of the health facilities that are presented by the master facility code that they have keyed in. Admin is what is used by the system admin to set up the EMR for first time use and also to manage their accounts, user accounts and also manage report queuing. The KP provider is uh, the key population module that is used by facilities that are offering services to key populations including DICES and also the peer calendar which is a subset of the key population module is also available as a tile from Kenya EMR. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. It has been my pleasure taking you through Kenya EMR.